2K Sports pregame show brought to you by Kia. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, happy to be here with my friends, and I mean that, my buddies, my pals, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Well, for the Grizzlies, they're currently holding on to the best record in the league. Not the conference, the league. They've been head and shoulders above the competition this season. And Clay Thompson, part of the most feared one-two punch in the league. Kenny, do you think because he plays alongside Steph Curry, he gets overlooked as a talent? No, because he's playing with a guy that we call what? Oh, he makes it look that effortless. effortless. But his shooting certainly isn't appreciated as it should be. I think his, you know, because of the great shooting of Steph Curry, he gets overlooked. His temperament and his mindset is second to none and a great number two option. I'm about to say something that's not going to sound right, but Clay is the ultimate complimentary player. I don't even believe I said that. Especially to someone like Curry due to his size, ability to shoot, and his defensive presence. Only because he's playing with, with Curry, I call him a complimentary player, but no disrespect, Clay is the man when it comes to putting that ball in the hole. Black a katayo. Black a katayo. That's all you right. hear. Time to go to Kevin Harlan. Kev. Prez, you ready for tonight? Whew. Always, man. My game's never been better. Maybe. I believe it when I see it. All right. We're prepared for an awakening now. You're going to be a believer by the end of the first quarter. Love the confidence, Prez. See you out there, man. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. On the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. Earlier in the season, the Golden State Warriors ended up losing their last game in this matchup against the Grizzlies. And a win here would really be a psychological win for them as well. Nothing's more damaging than getting completely swept by a team throughout the season. And the issues they had defensively, in part, I thought, was a huge factor. Really compounded, I think, because it was a road game for them. Sometimes teams feed off their fans' energy, and they didn't have that on the road tonight. And that's why they didn't play better defense as a result. So they couldn't quite muster up enough strength on that end of the court. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, Kevin Durant is back after missing most of 2015 after requiring a third surgery to repair a bone in his foot. He said it was the first time I had to face something being snatched away from me that I loved so much. I just tried to stay positive and feel that if I put the same work ethic in, and things will turn out all right for Kevin. Great to have him healthy and back out on the floor, DA. Thank you. We'll get a chance to see two very stout defensive teams here, Steve. Points are going to be hard to come by. Yeah, you're going to have to find a way to get some easy buckets. But both these teams, they take away your first and second options. Little things like offensive rebounds, nice second chance game, huh? points might make the difference. They make you pay, though, don't they? Huh? Yes, indeed. Buyer beware or driver beware. Look at the opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. Down low, the tough pair of Zebo and Gasol. Trez out there with Young. And it's Parsons in at the three. Golden State on D. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And in go. that Keep game, the they did damage the in a variety of ways. They were more or less unstoppable offensively. The defense had no answer for them whatsoever, and they feasted on every opportunity they got in that one. So the Memphis Grizzlies able to put the first points up on the board. Curry, wide open. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Well, that shot by Stephen Curry from the three-point line. He can hit that with his eyes closed. Perez passes to Young. Person's on the wing. And it's going to be a three-second call. Oh, 
Memphis on defense. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. Yeah, they were able to keep it close for the most part, but you could just tell they were not in sync as a unit. Communication seemed to be missing, and if you want to come away with a lot of wins, you have to have that. He delivered that pass right on the spot to his teammate who was on the move. Years have gone, Jess, one of four to get this game started. Green, the screen, launches a three. Again, Curry missing. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Gasol kicks to Young. Right side, Gasol. Again, Memphis. When Gasol feels the D playing off of him, he has no problem going right up with the shot. Great confidence from the big man. And a very special bond between Mark Gasol and Zach Randolph playing together for the Grizzlies in their front court. Steve, they hit it off and look at each other like brothers. They do. What I love about Zebo and Mark Gasol is they play on the string together. We call this high-low, but what's so dominant about these two, they both can play high, they both can play low, and they have a great feel for each other, and they generally like each other. Here's Curry following the basket by Prez. Golden State moving it around, and the shot goes down. Curry's got five now. And the passing from Green doesn't just look for his shot. Wanting to get his guys involved on every possession. Prez kicks to Randall. To the paint. Here's Prez. Nice. Pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Curry dishes to Verajan. Pick by Verajan. He used that pick just right. That's now eight points for Steph Curry. I tell you what, guys, it's going to be a tough day on this defense, but he's got the A game rolling tonight. He certainly has it early on. He came out with some energy tonight. Now here's Prez, and the Grizzlies tack on two more. Well, he's doing what keeps them ahead, and he's been doing it all quarter, respecting the hot streak. Curry passes to Green. Back to Curry. He feeds it to Verizon. And good that time. Verizon's got his first bucket of the night. He was wide open. Reason why? Stephen Curry is a fantastic player who quickly got it over to his teammate. Perez kicks to Young. To the inside. Curry with the steal. It's stolen by Perez. No good. That's the first shot for the floor. He's missed. Five for six. Durant with it, now guarded by Parsons. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Wow, embarrassing error in judgment. Gives up the possession without a fight. And the Warriors with some changes. Igudala comes in for Anderson Verja. And it's Livingston in for Thompson. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Wright comes in for Zach Randall. And it's James Ennison for Chandler Parsons. And the Warriors a very good defensive team, Steve, whether they're playing big or going small. A reason why they have intelligent guys that know how to play the game of basketball on the defensive end. They switch a lot. They get their hands in the passing lane, and they are great communicators. Warriors trail by three. Inside. It's tipped. Gasol with the steal. Ennis kicks to Prez. Trying to find Wright. He's got it now. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Wright's got his first points of the game. Inside is where Wright feels at home. Love is limp and soft touch. To the middle. Gasol with the steal. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And here's Young from the arc. Kevin Durant with the rebound. Ball's knocked loose. Outside Curry. He dishes it to Iguodala. Durant the pass to Livingston. Green, the screen. Curry outside. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Prez picks one up. What a fantastic pump fake from Stephen Curry. So crafty of keeping the defense consistently off balance. Three shots. Three shots.
that's good from Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is shooting better than 90% for his career at the free throw line. Good on the second free throw. And he nails the third. He is usually very consistent at the line. You expect him to make everything from there now. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Grizzlies lead by two. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. in the gym always working to improve we asked him where that inspiration and, and passion originated it comes from me being eight years old and me just saying i want to be the best player you know first off at eight years old you want to be the best player in your neighborhood and that's where it comes from just always want to be the best and no matter where i'm playing at and um if i keep working each and every year i've gotten better you know if i continue to just keep working i've seen improvements Year by year improvements until he became the best player in the league and won an MVP. Now, the challenge, Greg, is to get back to that level after the injuries. Obviously, I think we all feel it is possible. And you're absolutely right, Kevin. I mean, he's definitely proven in terms of the talent, the skill, and athleticism. What we find out now after dealing with the adversity is does he have the heart and drive and that competitive spirit to be considered still among the very best. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you guys think? It's been about the pace. You can see they're going to try to keep this game in the open floor. They look faster and fresher out there. Seems like they're trying to tire them out. Clay and Iguodala, the potent wing pair. West is out there with Pachulia and Livingston in at the point. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Prez in their last game against the Spurs lit up the floor. He ended with 13 points, and along with what he did on offense, he had a big defensive night as well. His big display illustrated exactly the kind of success this team has enjoyed this season. And Kevin will be looking for more of the same from them tonight. Thank you, David. He had a heck of an outing that night, G.A. Yeah, he really did, Kevin. I mean, a very professional performance. Played hard every single second he was on the court. Well, what I love about him, it doesn't matter in wins or losses. He plays the same way. He gives you a 100% effort. And defensively, Steve, these days, more and more teams are looking to switch screen roles. Why is that? Because of the new rules, Kevin. I mean, you look at it now, defenses can play a little bit of a zone. I think back in the day, imagine me switching out on Shaq. He'll go right into the box, <laughs> and you couldn't have a guy come over right. unless he had the basketball. But right now, you can play more of a zone. So if teams who have multiple guys that can switch and defend multiple positions, they have an advantage. Well, that's the thing that these teams want to get now, these these players that are versatile play three four positions sometimes so they can do just what you're talking about yeah you're totally right i mean you have guys like draymond green can guard one through five this just has to be a luxury isn't that amazing it is lebron another one he can oh, guard, yeah. he can guard all, all five he positions he got everything and the grizzlies leading by four conley kicks to daniels and that one falls coming off conley's feet Daniels has got six in the quarter. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Pachulia sets a screen for Thompson. And it's West in the corner. Shoots it up. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. I like that shot for him, though. Very little defensive pressure. He typically rises up and buries that. And right kicks to Daniels. West with the steal. 
Thompson outside. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. And the Warriors miss again. Conley dishes to right. Passes to Baldwin. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Fires from 14. Again, Memphis. And they continue to add to their lead. They might be ready to pull away. These are two teams going different ways. Now here's Iguodala. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. And that's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. And some changes here for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for West. And Durant subbed in for Andre Iguodala. Memphis also making some changes. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Wright. Randolph comes in for Davis. And Chandler Parsons in for Troy Daniels. Now here's Conley. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Durant wide open. He fires. And the Warriors miss again. And here are the Grizzlies with it. Good momentum. Eight straight points. And one thing I don't think Kevin Durant gets enough credit for is his mental toughness. Good point. He, he is rarely shaken or thrown off his game if things aren't going his way and, and always remains focused on winning and doesn't let too much throw him off court. Here's Conley following the basket by Draymond Green. And off against Green. Now the pass to Baldwin. On the clock puts one up from 19 makes a big high bounce and goes in Baldwin's got the lead back up to nine now for the Grizzlies and with Durant and his ability to stay focused on the court right you're just talking about this a big example of that was last year when all the free agency speculation was floating around yeah and, and that can wear on a player when all the media is talking about your future Durant has done a great job of blocking out the media the last few seasons and just focusing on winning I mean his focus on the court is a big part of why he is so consistent game to game Livingston kicks to Thompson. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so we wrap up the first half. Grizzlies out in front. They finish off the second quarter with a massive 16-6 run. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Steph, what do you think of your defense in the first half? We're a, little, we're a step late, I think. And, you know, they made tough shots. We can't take away from that. But uh, for the most part, we have to find a way to, to guard that line if they're knocking down shots to, uh, to keep them out of the game. We'll see where the adjustments take you. Thanks, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We have some good momentum. I love the energy, fellas. I really do. But now we got to keep it up and stay focused. Do not let up, gentlemen. Play with the same enthusiasm. Let's get this W. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Nice game, great performance by Prez. Yeah, created a lot of quality shots for himself in that first half, and he knew when to pass it up when the double team came. Just awesome on-court awareness, knowing when to take it to the hole as well as dish it out. That's why he is such a crucial member to this team. So on the floor for Memphis. Down low, the tough pair of Zebo and Gasol. Young is out there with Prez, and it's Parsons in at the small four. Now, here's Thompson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Durant kicks to Curry. A shot. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Stephen Curry is the kind of guy always looking for his shot. If you give him room, he's going to take it. Outside Gasol. 
down low. It's tipped. Stolen by Verajan. Here's Thompson. And he lays it straight in. It's easy to see who's going to win that race. I love to see them push it like that because the reason why, he's a deadly finisher in the transition game. Anderson Verichal is a now a vet, but he takes the role as an energy player off the bench. He can still rebound, he can still defend, and he gives you those short perks now as a reserve. No one near Prez as he lets it go. Three. Hits it from three-point range. No, you saw that one, Pops. Prez has got five <laughs> points now this quarter. Warriors trail by 13. <laughs> and the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, Steve, offensively, you never want to be too predictable, and it makes me wonder, and interpret this however you want to, who do you think is the most unpredictable player in the league? Well, I think uh, one come to mind is Stephen Curry. You really don't know when he's going to pull up. You don't know what he's going to do as far as his dribbling exhibition. Kyrie Irving, those guys. Chris Paul with his passes. You know, a guy like DeMarcus Cousins, because of his ability to play inside and outside, he's not predictable because he can basically do it all on the floor. I would think for a defender that'd be frightening, just being you're constantly guessing. Some guys you can just take it to the bank, they're going to do whatever they're, they're going to shoot or they're going to drive. And you know, one guy I forgot, Kevin, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. How do you scout him? Because he comes full speed, and it's whatever when he catches it. Who would willingly accept that defensive <laughs> challenge? Huh? How difficult, how scary would that be on a it, night? It is. Uh, it's a basis. team effort. A team has to stop Russell. Oh. You know, you talk about coaching trees. Steve Kerr in his first two years already has had two assistants grab two head coaching jobs, and him himself, he coached on the best in the business. And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala is checked in. Right, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. And this comes in for Chandler Parsons. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Curry. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. With the Kerr coaching tree, you're also talking about some big names like Alvin Gentry and Luke Walton. Their assistants that have moved to head coaching roles after their stint with Kerr. Just fantastic for Steve Kerr to understand is if we keep winning, you're going to keep losing assistants. But you know what? They're winning, and that's the nature of the business. Free throw good, Curry. So he gets them both. Certainly has the best case. Back-to-back -back MVPs. And, and Steve, the impact he has on the court is just curious. You can throw other names in as well. But Curry and his back-to-back -back MVPs puts him in a league company. He's quickly rising on the all-time greatest players list. He's earned it. And he has transformed the art of shooting. Here's Curry following the basket by Prez. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And one reason Thompson is such a fantastic offensive player is because he is so good at drawing fouls. The Warriors have been good at the line so far, five of five. That free throw good from Thompson. One area you have to give Clay Thompson credit in is how strong of a defender he is. He can match up with a number of positions, and Steve sticks to a player like a glove. He has length. His lateral agility are a big bonus for him on the defensive end. He uses his length, too, well, because he bothers shots, contests shots, and even receives some all defensive team votes last year for his efforts. And so he hits both. Clay does a lot of things well. He shoots the basketball. He can defend, but the area he could get better is his ball handling, and he's done that. He looks very comfortable driving, creating shots for himself, and kicking it out for others. Now here's Prez. He's got 18. Guys, their comeback bid had better get started. 
I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. Young with the steal. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldrin. Well, guys, there's no doubt that the Splash Brothers are the most dangerous backcourt in the NBA. Steph Curry is the MVP, but he said of Clay Thompson, I love playing with him. How much better he's gotten since day one is kind of scary. He's such a great two-way player, and he isn't anywhere close to hitting his ceiling. Thanks, D.A. They're one heck of a tag team. At the line for two. And with Clay and his improved ball handling, Steve, it used to be that he had trouble creating for himself. Now he is creating for himself and others. Clay has size, speed, and he can flat-out shoot the basketball. Now, like you say, with his improved ball handling, he has the confidence to attack the rim. So he can shoot it, and he can get to the bucket. The Warriors making a switch here. Livingston's checked in. Memphis also making some changes. Troy Daniels, he's checked in for Young. And Levins is subbed in for Prez. He's off on the second. And Smitty, over a decade now, you've been working as an analyst almost as long as your playing career. What's your favorite part now of the job? You know, it's still basketball, Kevin. Just different. I'm not playing right now, but being in the atmosphere, also getting a chance to meet people like you, Kevin, getting a chance to have relationships and getting a chance to be around the game of it, basketball. It is my treat to work with you, man. I married you so much as a player in East Lansing, in the NBA, and now you've made the transition to broadcasting. Not an easy thing to do, but you've done it just seamlessly, it seems. You're so right, Kevin. Trying to turn that page from being a player to being on the other side of being media. Yeah tough but you've you've nailed it tries from the block misses off the right iron warriors trailed by 11 green passes to Kerr. little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third again golden state he is very comfortable in taking mid-range jump shots also levens gets to ennis Gasol dishes to Ennis. Memphis moving it around. Launches a three. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Livingston kicks to Green. It's stolen by Ennis. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Ennis has got the lead up to 14 now for the Grizzlies. Warriors have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Here's Levens, and the shot is long. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Curry passes to Green. Stolen. The shot. And Levens gets it to go on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got three assists tonight. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And there's the call on Brandon Wright. That's his first foul. Brandon Wright. First personal foul. Substitution on the court. seconds left in the third quarter they get a hand on it young with the steal and now young running the floor oh. <laughs> excellent work there in transition he doesn't give the defense any time to set up he just goes extremely hard to the bucket that was a nice replay brought to you by kia it's free outside you can't get that one Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Grizzlies out in front. They lead by 18. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return.
against the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. Draymond Green is out there with Durant, and it's Verizhao in at the five spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. And the Grizzlies leading by 18. And Parsons kicks to Prez. Inside. And then Randolph slams it in. You can't afford to leave one of Conley's teammates wide open. He will make you pay. The Warriors shooting from the field. 44% not bad. On its way from Curry for two. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Curry's got 10 points here in the second half. And they found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. Parsons' shot is off. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something that they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unfortunate. Good defense, better offense. Durant more than capable of burying shots with a hand in his face. And Young kicks to Prez. Here's Randolph. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And the Grizzlies lead by 17. Timeout called the Warriors. Nice game, great performance by Brad. A remarkable scoring display that he's putting on. They have to regroup, stop the momentum, plain and simple. They have to cool him off for a couple minutes. One strategy they might employ is to force him to work hard on the defensive end and to try and sap some of his energy. Yeah, I think he just sees some things that can be improved and wants to get everybody back on the same page. Definitely. He saw some stuff he didn't like out there, and I think taking this time to calm his guys down is the right call. Saul's checked in. Green, the screen, dishes it to Curry. Basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got three assists tonight. Stephen Curry mixing up his offense. Now getting a chance to score in the paint. Kicks it to Prez. Shoots a three. Offensive rebound. And that one good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Curry dishes to Barajal. Green kicks to Curry. Makes it off the glass. Curry's got six here in this quarter. He has been right on the money tonight. If it weren't for that, they'd be much further behind right now. Young outside. There's the lob to Parsons. And Parsons slams it in. Yeah, and just superb work there by Young. So unselfish with the basketball. Really likes getting the ball to his teammate. Warriors trail by 17. Thompson outside. Durant the pass to Curry. And Berejau kicks to Durant. Oh, oh wow. wow. Watch your head. That's a beautiful jam. When you're that long and that athletic, I'll tell you, KD has the ability to put a little extra on it. That's good from Prez on the assist by Randolph. And that's now 20 points for Prez. Warriors have gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Curry setting the pick for Green. Off target from three-point range. A shot he knows he needs to make when the defense sags off him. Still a little inconsistent from out there. Here's Prez. Great D that time from Curry. Golden State's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Puts it up from 12. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Beautiful jumper from Green. Got to man him up when he squares up from there. 
Young outside to the middle. Good looking screen by Gasol. Outside Randolph. Over to the left wing. Four on the clock. Rez dishes to Gasol. It's good. Gasol's got four this quarter. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Grizzlies. We got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one that got it done. High scoring game. Bucket after bucket. They were really in attack mode all game long. And the one thing that stood out about these guys all season long, their resiliency to come out and play hard and win games. We've watched some epic battles that they've played, and tonight will mark their 64th win in the year. Something else. And they cap off the season series with one more win. It's been nothing but W's. Four straight. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Prez. There was some vitality to his game tonight. No let up at either end of the floor. Totally relentless. And that effort was contagious. It's what inspired them to this win here. They clearly look like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got some energy out on the floor. They just waited too long. If they could have just made this run a little bit earlier, they could have been in the game. But now this game is out of reach. Here's Young following the basket by Stephen Curry. Pass to Prez. Curry with the steal. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Durant, no good. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. Prez passes to Gasol. To the inside. From 13. Outside for Randolph. Misses. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now we'll send it up to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who is standing by for the postgame show. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hey everybody, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. It is time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Prez, a man on a mission. He came out torching the Nets and just never cooled down. Obviously, his monster first quarter had a big impact on tonight's outcome. He was a threat every time they fed him the ball. He was in attack mode offensively. So much confidence. Wow, unbelievable. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Kenny Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, for Kevin Harlan, and for the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson. I hope you have a wonderful, uh, even beyond wonderful, a spectacular, just great. I mean, see you. Good night.